Here's the area that needs to be uh, leveled off and whatnot. Um, everything out and through here, I need to have cut out to about four foot from this slope because uh, I'm going to put a retaining wall in through there. Uh, this area has all been piled up from the geothermal dig. Uh, some of this needs to be taken out a little bit, but there's a Fios line underneath it, so we can't go more than a couple inches on this. Uh, you might be able to see the track of where <coughs> the geothermal dig was, so this is all sloped out a bit. And this area I had taken out down to almost graded properly, and then we decided to do the geothermal and dug it all up. Same thing back through here. This was going to be where the retaining wall was going to about to sit, but now the geothermal um, excavation kind of piled up a lot of this shale. This whole yard is about 80% shale. Um, these piles are actually previous from when I was digging out by hand this lovely area. There's also some of this um, filler they use for the boreholes. So this, and this is the septic. It's a cement septic. It, for the most part, goes like this. Um, I think it's a thousand gallons, and there's about three to four feet extra of dirt on top of here. So I want to bring this down so I can put some to patio or even just another deck area. All right, and so now we're going to go to the front. Pardon me. This also is going to be turned into something more flat. Uh, none of this was really graded properly. This area right in here is probably about almost level with, with the foundation with the sill plate. It's a little bit lower, but this has to come out. And so, and I'm getting rid of these sidewalks and I'm putting in a better walkway and probably taking all that out. And that is about it.